Hello and welcome to this drum lesson for Dark Necessities by Red Hot Chili Peppers. The drums sort of fade in at the beginning and the groove that we're using is the same as what we're going to use in the verse, so let's check it out right now. The song sits at around 184 beats per minute, so playing the 16th notes with your right hand is a bit of a challenge. You definitely want to try and utilize a shoulder tip technique so that you're getting two strokes for the price of one. Playing it down on the shoulder, then lifting your wrist to get a second stroke with the tip as you go up. At the end of this intro section, before the verse starts, there's just a tiny little fill that sounds like this. Keeping the hi-hats going over the top of that fill is a little bit awkward, but it is definitely what I can hear happening in the recording. If you want to leave them out, of course you could, but it is possible to just sneak in that left hand underneath so that you can grab that tom hit. Anyway, moving on, we are in the verse, and as I said earlier, it's exactly the same groove as we used in the intro. At the end of this verse, going on into the chorus, there is another fill. Next up, I'll show you the main groove that you need for the choruses. At the end of the chorus, going back into the verse, there's a different fill. From there, it's right back into another verse, and the only change is the fill at the end, so I'll show you that now. And then this next chorus plays just the same as this first one, except for the fill going into the bridge. That brings us to the bridge with the lovely piano melody in it. The beat has changed a little bit, so I'll break down the first two bars. And here's the next two bars. Those four bars basically just repeat for the whole of that bridge, so I'll put them back together up to speed so you can hear how it's going to sound. Music 
At the end of the bridge, we come off on a crash cymbal on beat one. And then we have that great one bar drum solo leading into another verse. You don't have to use the same sticking that I use, but I do find it easier to let the right hand travel while the left hand stays on the snare drum and plays mostly ghost notes. It's going to help you to get the sound that matches up pretty well with the recording. Anyway, moving on from there, we go back into another verse and that's using just the same grip as we have already, except for at the end, the fill is just a little bit different. After that verse is another chorus. At the end of the chorus, the fill is just a little bit different as well. And now we're into the guitar solo and I'll break this down two bars at a time and then put all four bars back together. And then here's the next two bars. I'll put those four bars back together. Play those four bars again, but in the eighth bar, the fill has changed. We're in the last outro section and I'll break down the first four bars. And then here's the last five bars of the song. That brings us to the end of Dark Necessities by Red Hot Chili Peppers. There is a bit of intricate stuff happening underneath those pretty quick hi-hats, so it's definitely a bit of a challenge, but hopefully this lesson has at least shown you the vibe of the song and you can grab the best bits and eventually jam along yourself. So have fun practicing and I'll see you at the next lesson.